So here I have Cinema 4D R21 open and I'm running the project from my title sequence in the new version. And you can see right away, things look a little different, feel different, and something seems kind of newer, more modern. And at first it might just seem like the interface is a little darker and easier on the eyes, but there's actually a lot that went into this and a lot that really just freshens it up and helps. Probably the biggest thing that's noticeable is that it runs on HD monitors much better. It's optimized for high resolution displays. So this laptop I'm recording this on, I'm running at 2800 by 1800 and it looks perfect. And just for a comparison, if I jump back to R20 that I have here, same project, it just feels so much less modern and fresh and fresh. It's really hard to look at the new one for even a couple minutes and then jump back. But it goes a lot further beyond just the resolution. You can see the icons look a little different. The menu on a Mac even looks a little different and updated. And in our object manager, there's a lot of little tweaks and updates. So this is more than just the resolution. This is a full revamp of the entire interface, how it looks, how it functions, where things are. And this is a big move for workflow in my opinion. There's a lot of little stuff that you'll notice as you get up to speed. One thing that I really like that's great is in the object manager, there's new icons for everything. Things are a lot clearer. If you even look at the lights, the color of the icon changes for the lights. It just feels like it's a lot clearer and there's a lot of thought and care that went into all of these little details in iconography. The other thing is that on a Mac, it's not a application that's sitting with all the menus separated within its own system. Whereas if we look at R20, you can see the main menu is just Cinema 4D and Window and everything is down here and built in. And that's fine, but everything else on a Mac works like this in this system. And there's a lot of positives to working like this. One that's one of my favorite things is now that the menu is all just part of a standard app menu that you would expect on a Mac, you can always jump into help. And if you don't know where something is, so you want to type in cloner, or something like that. Anywhere on a Mac in any menu, you can, you can always go to help type in a menu command and it'll pop open what it is. So say, uh, I don't remember where the cloth dynamic is. I really just wanna know where that sits in the menu. You can always type that in and it's a quick way to search. Now, if you're a lot quicker and you prefer the shortcuts, you can still do your, your tried and true shift C for that sort of thing. But it's just one of those little things that makes a lot of sense and helps combine everything and make it feel like it's one solid app running in the best way possible. Another note with the interface is the buttons have all been refreshed. There's new default buttons for some of those recent features that have been introduced into Cinema 4D. So if you're doing things like building with volumes or field forces, which we'll get into a little later, or even just having a nice default button for our cloner system and all of our effectors, it just makes so much sense and there's a lot of little details throughout the interface that just make it feel much more complete. So this is a minor technical update as far as just exciting new features, but it really changes your everyday use of Cinema 4D. So this is a big one and it's great. So I hope this was a useful tour of some of these features. As always, you can check out more motion graphics, Cinema 4D, and After Effects tutorials at motiontutorials.net and be sure to subscribe at youtube.com slash Sean Frangella. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter, I'm um, at Sean Frangella, or check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motion tutorials. And be sure to check out some of those other videos and tutorials that are popping up in those thumbnails. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you at the next video.